What's up YouTube fans? Today we're going to take a look at the Takara Tomy Transformers Masterpiece Katai Raiden Combiner. So we finally reached the end of this combiner set. We have all six of them. And I just wanted to show them all here in robot mode together since we actually never did that. We looked at each one of these individually. We did see all the trains together when I looked at this guy. But this is the first time I'm kind of looking at all the robots together. And as a team, they are pretty good with the exception of this guy here. And I wanted to talk about it for a second. Uh, during my review, I had a little error. The hips. Uh, I brought them down on the combiner joint, which is a ratchet joint. Um, so this is how I had it on this side, and this is the correct on the non-ratchet joint. And you can see it gets a little bit taller, and the hips aren't out so wide. But I will say it's still too short, even with this. I mean, let's just bring in Shuki for a second. You can see he is much shorter than the rest of them. All the rest are about the same height. But these two... For whatever reason, Cayenne is just, just too small. Uh, so my opinion, like this one still doesn't scale, and I made a post about it, and there's all sorts of debate. Um, but I still stand by it. I think Cayenne just doesn't scale with Masterpiece. Maybe it's due to the design they needed for the combiner mode. But either way, I still feel he's a little bit on the small side. But... Let's get started. We'll talk about these guys. I will say my favorite robot mode is probably Shuki. I think it looks the best and it's the most cohesive. These guys over here, these two have a backpack that is gigantic and weighs them down. And actually posing them is pretty tough. Also, these, these leg joints like to pop out. They just have too many, they have too many issues in robot mode. All the trains are really good. I like the train modes, but these guys especially, they, they tend to, um, you know, lean back and that backpack is just is such a pain. So these two, although they look really good, they're actually my favorite looking as far as the paint. And you can see he's, he's trying to fall now. Uh, even though they look my favorite as far as the color scheme, they're just not fun to play with because they like to fall down and the backpacks likes to come off. Uh, so I'd say this guy's probably my favorite. Yukikaze, probably my second place. Maybe this guy as third, fourth, and then these two are kind of dead last. Um, I think you could probably get this guy into more poses than the rest because he doesn't have anything kind of getting in the way. But all of them are a little bit compromised just due to the way they're designed. All of them have, you know, pretty big backpacks. And I know people are going to say, oh, the backpack is cartoon accurate. I, whatever. <laughs> it still affects playability. So let's get started. We're going to get these guys into their combined modes. I'll show you how to put them together. I'm not going to go through the transformations into combined mode. There's actually some really good videos out there from Takara directly that show you how to do that. But I do want to talk about combining them together and how well they stay together and their articulation and all that. So let's get these guys into combined mode and then we'll get started. All right, now it's time to get this guy combined, the time of truth. So we're gonna start with the torso just because I'm gonna do it differently than the official transformation. And I will tell you, in the official transformation, the guy struggled a little bit, uh, but let's start with this. So here's the panel for the head. You wanna flip this out, the black piece. That's gonna kinda just butt up against these pieces in the legs. It doesn't peg in there, but it does peg in you can see there's a slot there that's going to peg in right here. And then this is going to go on the front. It's very challenging to get this on without completely taking this apart. Because as you're pressing down, it's pulling things apart. But there's two tabs right here as well. So you got to get all of that on there without, without making it come apart. Yeah, and it is very frustrating because things start coming apart right here. You really have to get it perfectly on there. And it's just, it's frustrating. Okay, I think we got it. I think we got it on. Um, really not, not fun. But you can see I've already messed up some things. So just clean that up. Uh, the chest, you want to have it collapse. And if you're looking how to transform it into these combined modes... I'm just going to send you to MGO. MGO made a great, great video on actually all of these guys except Cayenne, which she hasn't got yet. But 
definitely check them out to get it into this mode. But next, there's a little slider piece here. I'm going to take this torso piece. You can see there's a slot right in the waist that's going to slide forward onto this. And again, things start coming apart, but slide that in and try not to take it apart. So I should have something like that. And then we'll get him on his legs. So take this piece here. You can see there's a slot right there. It's going to slide just forward on this. Oh, God. <laughs> Nothing feels good on this, to be honest. Everything just feels like it's about to fall apart on you. But same in this one. Slot, slide it forward onto that panel. He's falling down. So come to the side here. You're going to uh, lift up on this panel. And I have these ears pushed in for now because they're going to get in the way. Take this. This is going to slide down into here. And you got to get it just right. And then squeeze that together. And then you can close that up. And then you can reopen the ear on the head. Yeah, he is definitely not going to stand. I can already feel it falling down. So just support it, hold it. So in this side, open up this panel right here. Slide this down. And make sure you support the bottom because it's going to start coming apart. And then push that down and then open the ear up. All right, final step. <laughs> Take this. And that's going to plug in right here. There's a little slot right there on the side. And you have to flip that over, so don't forget that when you're transforming it into this mode. All right. And then we'll do this one. It's, it's totally ridiculous. I mean, it just comes apart. Okay, you have to support this one as well, so... Take this out, and then support this. Push that in without taking everything apart, and then take this, slide that in. All right, and there you have Raiden in combined mode. And it's pretty bad. I mean, it, it just can't stand up. The, the joints are too loose. It's too back heavy, and it's really the, the ankle joints. The ankle joints just won't, they don't lock in place. So, if you didn't get the stand, I have no idea what you're gonna do. So you need this. I'm gonna put that together. You're gonna take this, set that down in the middle. You're gonna stand this up. And then we're gonna grab this piece right here. Come to the bottom here. What an absolute nightmare. And then this is going to plug in, so there's two on the side, one on the back. So take this and plug it in on the bottom. And then this will sit on top of here. Get that lined up. Phew! All right, at least it can stand up now. So without this stand, I'm not really sure what people are gonna do because it doesn't stand by itself. But now we can at least look at him. Everything's moving. And I, I do think it looks somewhat like Raiden, but I mean, it's just unusable. Here's the side. Here's the back. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to have to keep it on the stand because otherwise it'll fall down. Let's go over the articulation while we're here. The head will go up to there, down to there. Rotates around. Uh, he has light piped eyes. I don't know why because there's no batteries or light up features. So you pretty much can't see it. Let's just get in close so you can see the head. Arms will, <laughs> it 
it all comes apart as soon as you touch it, but arms will rotate here on the shoulder about up to there and then it gets stuck. Elbows will bend up to there. Wrist rotation. The thumb is on a peg and a hinge. The fingers are individually articulated, so they actually put articulation there in the hands. The hands are pretty good, actually. Out of everything, I think the hands is probably the best part. Just durability and everything. Uh, this is one of the issues. This little clip constantly pops off. It, it's just too soft of a plastic. You do have a rotation here at the elbow, but you have to open up Okay, you have to open up this panel to get down there. So not I, I'm not gonna give them credit for that. Legs kick up to there. Over here, let's see if the knee will bend. I don't know. Okay, it looks like there's a knee bend. You get like two clicks out of that. The legs will will go up, but that ratchet's not going to hold anything, so no point. There is a rotation at the... No, is that a rotation? Yes. There's a rotation at the thigh. At the feet, you have a tilt back and forth and forward and backward, but this forward and backward tilt is so loose that he can't stand up. Right now, let's take a look at the accessories. It does come with this sword, so you actually get this with one of the trains, so you don't need the box set to have a sword. But the box set comes with an additional sword, so if you want the chromed sword, you'd need it. I would recommend not getting the box set because this is fine, but you'll see there's a tab right here. And it's supposed to fit in the hand. <laughs> okay, I guess it does fit in the hand, but as soon as you start closing the fingers, it gets, it gets messed up. So you just got to be careful how you close the fingers. And of course, you can use this sword too if you want. And there you go, you can have the sword. You also get the light beam, which worked with Cayenne, but now you can use that longer tab for this guy. And we can get that tabbed in. Close that around. I actually like that better. It just fits better. And then we get his gun, and this gun, it, it, it goes together, but it's so loose. I, I don't know why, you know, they have a gimmick so this can store, but it's so loose. Anyway, there's a tab right here. You can get that into this hand. And as long as you don't touch it, you can do that. And for a quick size comparison, there it is next to the Magic Square Optimus Prime, same size as MP44, and the Earthrise Optimus Prime. I don't care what people say. It doesn't, it's not a masterpiece. It fits maybe with uh, your chug scale. This, this could work, um, but this is obviously not going to work. All right, and here's the comparison I think most people want to see with the Moon Studios Radiotron, their version of Raiden. And what a night and day difference <laughs> we've got here. I was planning to do a versus between these two, but after handling this guy here, there really is no sense in, in doing a versus. It's just going to be a waste of time because Moon Studios is going to win a lot of the categories. So I figured I'll just do a quick one right here to explain, you know, which categories would go to the Takara. So I do believe accessories, they're going to have more, not only in the combined mode, but also in the train mode. There's just more accessories like the tracks. Uh, I think gimmicks would also probably go to Takara, although the gimmicks don't work that well. It does have more gimmicks. Uh, but then pretty much everything else is going to go to Moon Studios. Accuracy, sculpt, paint, build, articulation, transformation, engineering. Alt mode, I guess I would give it to Takara, but I do like the alt modes on here. There's nothing wrong with them. Uh, maybe they're not accurate because they're kind of like short and stocky versus, you know, the actual dimensions of trains uh, but other than that you know cost is going to go to moon studios and the members choice is definitely going to go to moon studios so this would be a blowout versus but i just wanted to quickly mention it's not even worth doing a video so final recommendations on the takara tomi transformers masterpiece gatai raiden 
And I'm really sad to say this, but this is going to have to get a 1 out of 5. I strongly do not recommend this combiner. Now, today we're just talking about the combiner. We've reviewed each of these figures individually and already gave them the score. So we're really just talking about this. I think all of them got a 3 out of 5. Shuki might have got a 4. But the rest of them, the robot modes aren't great. But the train modes look, do look good, especially if you have it displayed with the tracks. Um, that's that's a nice option. Uh, but this combiner just doesn't work. And right now it's setting up and you're thinking, hey, that looks pretty, that doesn't look too bad. Well, that's because it's leaning up against the wall. You know, it just can't hold its own weight. It's really these ankles are the problem. Um, they just, the, the ratchets they use don't work. And the weight is really up high. The center of gravity is high. So he just can't hold his own weight. Um, things like to fall, <laughs> just did, demonstrated for me. The guns like to fall apart. These clips on the arms, as you manipulate the arms and pose the arms, these little plastic clips, they like to pop off. You can see this one's already off uh, because they used a soft plastic. And these are like rookie moves. And what doesn't make sense to me is they've made good combiners. We just got the Hasbro Legacy Menasaur. And I looked at the box set on that one. That was beautiful. It looked great. It performed well. It stood good. And then all the modes worked. This one, you really can't do anything with it unless you have this stand. And this stand only comes with the box set, which is more expensive. At approximately $1,000, give or take, is probably like around $950 total in this set. It just doesn't, it's, the value is just not there. It's just too expensive and doesn't perform and i understand that people are using it for you know train mode but if you're paying a thousand dollars for something just go buy some model trains you don't need to buy this to get your model trains and at a thousand dollars it's got to perform as a combiner and it just doesn't do that now i really hope that they learn lessons from this and can improve the mpg line moving forward it doesn't really bode well that this is what they made. Especially if you're looking at the Hasbro stuff that's come out recently, the combiners. It just doesn't measure up. But that's really it for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks to G. Tony for letting me take a look at his copies here. And I'm so glad to be done with this. Goodbye, Raiden. We'll see you next time.